Hey friends, it's Kara with Kinsley's Creative Palette. Guys, I am in a phenomenal mood today. I know yesterday I was a little bit down. Thank you all so much for painting with me and helping cheer me up yesterday. I am going to try to post a comment if it's going to let me. I'm not sure in the chat. Okay, so I think that it let me post a comment where I have links to everything I'm going to talk about today. But this right here, my friend Amy Taylor over at Lulu Bean Designs, she is a phenomenal designer. Y'all know I love to design my own files. Can everyone hear me okay? Make sure somebody lets me know because I, um, I always worry about that. Anyway, she is a phenomenal designer and I love to design my own stuff, but guys, like she's amazing. And she opened an SVG Clubhouse last week and I got to be um, one of her bonuses. I got to teach how to use Canva um, in her group and, or in her, it was just a, a bonus. And um, I just love her files. And so I thought, you know what, to celebrate, I want to paint one that I've been wanting to paint of hers. I bought this kit. And so I can, I have these up for sale. They're on sale through next Tuesday for $28.99 plus shipping, but you get all of these pieces. And let me show you how incredible this is. All right, so I cut it on marker board, which was something she taught me. Love learning from other people. Um, but she cut it on marker board. So this piece is actually, uh oh, I need to pop that out. I might have to work on that. Anyway, I need to pop that piece out. Um, this is marker board and chalkboard on the other side. So you don't have to paint, you don't have to paint the black or the white and it's already etched. So you already have like your farmhouse look. So all you have to do with this is paint your frame and paint your little pieces and they're all interchangeable. So if you purchase the kit, I would just wanna show you what all you'll get and then we're gonna paint it today. Um, you'll get all these pieces. Plus, you'll get Velcro that you'll need to make all these interchangeable. And you'll get super glue so that you can glue your frame down. And you can glue if you want to. You don't have to. But you can glue your wreath part if you're going to leave it up. If you're not going to leave the wreath up all the time, like maybe you want to cut a letter um, for your last name, you could put that here. Whatever you want to do. This is so versatile. Love it. So anyway, this kit is available on the website. It's on sale through next Tuesday. Um, it is my daughter's birthday this upcoming weekend. And we have got like so many fun things planned. We have family coming into town and I'm just super excited. But before I jumped on, I'm a sweet tea addict. It's something I had to give up years ago because like the sugar is insane but friends, I, now I get no money by showing this to you. All I get to do is I get to share something that I use every day in love. So I make decaf tea because as you can tell, I already have enough energy to last. Um, this stuff right here, let me show you this way. It is liquid, no calorie stevia from the Walmart. And a squirt of that in my decaf tea and it tastes Okay, maybe not just like McDonald's sweet tea, but it's pretty darn close and it keeps me going. So um, I'm going to get started with our barn door. But before I do that, we are we have a um, DIY home decor box where we send out an, a, just a box of craft supplies to make an entire project once a month. It's a surprise box. You never know what you're going to get, but it's an interior um, home decor box. So it's not like a door hanger for your front door. We also have um, a group that we do that with. But this is interior. And I wanted to show you, we're only open through tomorrow, I believe is the last day to sign up. I only open 20 spots a month. And these are the projects we've made the last two months. So this was our first project. It was a reversible tag that is was Valentine's and Easter. And this was our project for this past month that we just did, um, a, an adorable watering can. Let me show you down here. That is 3D, so it's got all these layers, and you can paint all the different layers. And it also came with a banner. So it came with a banner, everything to make the banner, the scrapbook paper, the Mod Podge, the gold paint, all the things. 
comes in the box and we're open until tomorrow. It is $39 for locals to pick up their box. It's $49 if you want it shipped. So I just wanted to throw that out there in case anybody's interested. That link is in the comments. And one more thing, and I announced this yesterday. I painted yesterday live this little keychain. You can see, see how cute that is. And I did it metallic. Um, all orders I've decided through next Tuesday um, will get one of these little keychains that you can paint. It will come with a little tassel and the um, key ring part. And then you can paint this, which let me show you what one looks like unpainted. Oh, okay. You, it looks like this, but it will have all of the pieces already attached. So all you have to do is paint it. And I used paint markers, but you could use, even your kids could do it. Um, you could use just Crayola markers, whatever you want to do. I was inspired because I cut last week these for um, the kids add-on for our home decor box. I cut these for the kids to do for Mother's Day, and I loved this one so much. Can you see that? That I took Mother's Day off and I turned it into a keychain. And so um, I thought, you know what? That would be a fun freebie for any retail order. So all of my retail orders that have shipping, like that you're actually getting something shipped, you'll get one of those little paintable keychains. Even this barn door that's on sale. So let's get started. I'm sorry, I'm talking y'all's ear off. Um, probably had too much caffeine today. <laughs> so make sure you sprinkle with your friends and let them know all the fun stuff going on. I just made this last week because it was, I needed just a quick way to have all my paint at my table. And so I'm so excited because this week I actually have paint at my table. Um, usually I'm like, oh gosh, I need to go grab all these colors. All right, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to move the whiteboard and the barn door off to the side. And y'all can't see this, I'm realizing, but I've got, I just squirted some brown paint on my paper. And friends, this is just the paper that you buy in the like paint department, like uh, for if you're like painting a house or something. Um, at Home Depot. It's like 20 bucks a roll. It's amazing. And I love it because I can squirt my paint directly on it and then paint straight from there. Now, I want this outer area to look like a stain. So what I want to do is I've got my brush and in, in the water. Okay, brush in the water. Dab, 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 dab. Get all the paint out because um, I actually used it this morning. So it's wet. Normally, I tell you we need to dry our brush first. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to dip straight into our brown paint. I'm going to move this over so you can see. All right, we're going to dip straight into our brown paint so it's real wet. And then we're just going to brush this on. Just, I mean, just a really thin coat. We're just going to brush it on. And what it's going to do is it's going to give the impression of a stain, but it's just paint and water. Right? Please, please sprinkle with your friends. I always forget to say that. I would love it if we could bring creativity to every woman in America that is stressed out and needs a creative release. I'm just putting a quick coat on here, it's gonna dry super fast too. So this is a, I mean, this is a quick project. I just talk too much. Uh, we also, I didn't say this before, but it's in that pinned comment. Um, you can go to um, textcara.com from any mobile device and shoot me a text that says hello. And then anytime I'm gonna go live, I will shoot you a text and say, hey friend, join me, I'm about to go live. So if you want to not miss another live, you can do that. Okay, can y'all see that? It just it just looks stained, all right? I'm gonna, I've got a couple places that are darker than the others and that's okay. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush a little bit, um, dry brush some other areas. So they all kind of look uniform and friends, that, that part oh, over here is done. All done. Now, I want my turkey because he's brown. 
So I'm going to go ahead and paint my turkey. I'm going to get a little bit of water on my brush this time. Um, paint, paint. Uh-oh. A baby boy's board using baseball. Um, Elizabeth, will you please send me a mess, send me an email at kinsleysclosset at gmail.com. Or if you send me a Facebook message, it'll give you my email address. But maybe, maybe boys board using baseball. Maybe send me a um, picture of what you're thinking and maybe I can come up with something. And hello, thank y'all for sprinkling. All right, friends, that's all I'm going to do to my turkey for now. I just, just made him brown. He's just, just a little bit, uh, I got a little bit of the wood grain still showing through. I love it. I'm going to leave him just like that. So now let's look at our other pieces. What color do I want my bunny? I kind of think I want my bunny to be light gray. So let me get some gray paint. If you don't have gray paint, just use white and black. Just use white and black. Now I am going to dry my brush this time. All right, friends. So remember we go down, we clean our brush for real good. We come up and we straighten it by wiggling back and forth and get those bristles right back into place. Now we're ready to use the same brush again. So I'm going to get this gray. I love this gray. It's kind of a beige. It has that like beige undertone. I'm just going to paint my little bunny gray. Brown. It almost looks brown. Okay, I can't tell who some of you are. Somebody said, hey, pretty lady. Hello. Uh, right back at you. Um, someone says they're working but watching. If you let Facebook know that it's okay to show me your name because StreamYard has to have permission, then I'll be able to talk to you. Bye. All right. So I've got my bunny painted. I'm going to set her off to the side or him. Uh, couldn't reach my orange. I don't have orange in little bottles for some reason. I only have it in big bottles. So I always have to kind of keep it off to the side. Friends, we have so much on sale on the website, though. It's so awesome. Um, we've got those Mother's Day pieces that your, your kids or grandkids can do. Um, but we've also got the barn door that we're painting today. Which, let me put this. I'm going to move this over here so we can see it while we're painting. So we've got that. We'll just grab our pieces as we need them. All right. I've got my orange. This is way too bright. So I'm going to grab some brown, mix it in. Oh, I can see your name, um, Wendy. Yours is working. Yours is working. It may just be that you um, popped on a different channel. I'm not sure. But I see you. I see you, love. We're going to buy wood this afternoon because I ran out of my uh, quarter inch. And slave labor. I'm going to get my kiddos to help me haul it because... Um, it's, it's heavy. I think it's heavy, like lugging in 10 sheets of wood. Thankfully, I have them cut it down for me. But Diana, it's on the website. And remember, every order that gets a physical item shipped through next Tuesday gets one of these adorable little keychains. I say thank you so much. Okay. I'm going to do my bow in red. But I don't have red, so let me grab red. I apologize. We we have sent out so much red paint in our DIY kits lately because we send you little like little bottles of paint and Mod Podge and whatever you need. Um, that I'm almost out of red, and I only have it in the big bottles too. So I'm gonna paint my bow red. Quick coat. Now remember, friends, if you use gloss red, it will um, cover in less coats. But this actually, this is the Anita's. I buy the bit these big bottles of a bunch of the colors, and this is true red. And really, it covers pretty well. Like, I don't think I'm going to have to go back over this. Could if I wanted to, but I mean, to me, it's... It's bright and bold and doesn't really need another coat. So I'm just kind of setting all these pieces off to the top. 
Now, I want my star, this is probably going to be too ambitious. I wanted to do like red and white stripes and I want to make it patriotic. So I may come back to that because I might do it with paint pens. So let's hold off on that. I want a bright pink heart. My favorite pink right now is peony pink, which is discontinued um, through deco art. But I went and had a whole bunch mixed up. I know I've got red on my brush. But I had a whole bunch mixed up at Home Depot so that I am good to go for a while. So if anybody needs that color code, shoot me a message and I can send you the picture of the top of my sample bottle that I had mixed. So you can go get some peony pink of your own. Because friends, like it to me, it is the best pink. Okay, so I've got that. And then my flower, I think I want to use the peony pink with mixed with some white. I hope that some of y'all will join us for our home decor box because friends, we are having so much fun and it's so easy because everything shows up at your doorstep and I go live and I show you how to how to craft the whole kit. Um, and then I'll publish the live later. So if you don't have time to watch, but like we all have these intentions of we're going to be creative and we're going to like do something for ourselves, like raise your hand if you ever say that. And then time goes by or you pin all these cute projects on Pinterest and you never do any of it. And so our DIY home decor kit was created to help you get out of that rut and to have it so that your supplies show up at your doorstep and you have no reason to procrastinate. So I hope that y'all will join me. We have, um, I think we have about 12 spots left, but I, I didn't look last night. Um, yesterday I was working on a project with my friend Amy from Lulu Bean and um, I was kind of not on Kinsley's creative palette much. It's somebody else's. So. All right, there is my lighter color. This is peony pink mixed with just straight white. And then what other pieces? Let's see. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my wreath and I'll do that in a different green. I think so. I'm gonna do my wreath in this, um, it's a folk art color. It's called alfalfa really uh, kind of an avocado-y green. Put that down there. And friends, if you're going to do the, this little keychain or even like the accents and things on these, this kit, um, Posca pins are the way to go. I'll show you what. These right here are like the best paint markers. Um, so I will be using my Poscas. Okay, I don't know... I think I want to be darker. Let me try this one. This is celery green. Let me see what that one looks like. Okay, this one's, yeah, not quite as bold. So let me do that. I can see your name now. I can see your name now, Miss Laura. Thank you. Okay, yep, I like that better. So I ended up with celery green. It is a deco art color. And again, it may be another one they're discontinuing. I don't know. I emailed Rosemary a couple weeks ago and was like, where is my peony pink? Why can't I find it? And she goes, oh, we're not making it anymore. And I'm like, oh, darn it. It's, it's best. And when you get a color like that, you're like, everybody loves it. So I don't understand how it gets discontinued. Maybe not everybody bought it. I guess maybe I'm the only one. But yes, um, Diana, I just saw your message come through. I will absolutely shoot you a picture of that peony pink lid. thought I still had it sitting here, but I guess I don't. All right, I'm going to show you all what this is going to look like on this. Um, I'm going to paint the inside of that. Uh, yeah, they're out of a lot of colors, a lot. I actually placed an order over a month ago and I still haven't gotten it. It's kind of sad. I know with COVID, it's just social distancing and they can't they can't get everything out. All right, so I'm going to show you all what this is going to look like. I'm going to set it right here. Friends, how gorgeous is that? Oh, my gosh, it's so pretty. So this is the barn door kit. It's on sale this week through next Tuesday in all orders. 
that have a shipped product are getting a free keychain to paint in their order. You don't have to add it or anything. My sweet little Kinsleys, when they're packing up our orders, they're just gonna put it in there for you. All right, so I wanna do more of a brighter green. I want Kelly green, but since I don't have Kelly green at my table, I'm gonna try this green. Ooh, I kinda like it. Let's do this green. And friends, I'm using the exact same brush for all of this. Like, make, make it simple for yourself. All right, so I've got this bright green. This is um, very transparent, so this is going to take another coat. But it's still really cute. All right, so I'm going to grab a different brush since I'm going to have to come back and do that. I'm going to get some blue. This is um, Whispering Turquoise. You can use any baby blue you have. I'm just going to squirt some out over here. And the white. I'm going to dip in my Whispering Turquoise and the white. Just, ooh, this had some yellow or something in this brush. Might be okay, though. Yeah, this had some, some other funky color. It didn't get washed out. So let me, oh, <laughs> that's so funny because I used the, I used the dirty brush. I used the brush that had the green. So now I turn my snowflake green. After the lab, I'm going to go to the website and order this. Oh, thank you, Diana. Thank y'all so much for your support. Like, so um, I was helping a friend out and I took a paid gig. Um, and this morning I actually called her and told her, thank you. Um, and, and the crazy thing is, like, as stay-at-home mom, business owners, um, you know, you always see these posts on Facebook that says, if you support a home-based business, you're not, um, you know, buying them a mansion. What you're doing is you're paying for soccer gear and you're paying for gymnastics and those kind of things. Well, it's my daughter's birthday, Sunday, Saturday, and we have some stuff planned for her. But my son's birthday, he turned 10, he turned 10, no, he turned 11, sorry, I get mixed up. Um, he turned 11 in December and we were, you know, deep in COVID. And so we couldn't do anything. He was super bummed out. And so my aunt is flying in from Texas and I'm taking a couple days off next week and we are going to take the kids up to Cincinnati. We're huge shipping war fans. I don't know if y'all watch that show, but it's on A&E. And it's just these people who their job is like they ship random stuff. And so they bid on these loads and it's, it's a really cool show, but my kids are kind of obsessed and it's something we like to do as a family. And um, so when we watched an episode last week of shipping wars and there was, and it's an old one. So don't, don't think you can go back and watch last week's and see it. Cause we watch them um, on demand. So anyway, uh, we were watching one and they shipped a pirate ship, like a small pirate ship, all the way across the U.S. to a store in Cincinnati called Jungle Gems. And I'm doing this right. Yeah. Um, so they shipped it to Jungle Gems and it was supposed to be like a decoration for inside the store. Well, they kind of showed some clips of inside the store and it's this really cool grocery store but it also you saw that so but it it has like really cool foods and all kinds of things well my daughter um hey message me that idea and i'll see what i can come up with message me and i'll see what i can come up with i do have i do have a um truck back like it's a shiplap round it has a truck that has a bunch of attachments. They're on the website too. It's a whole kit and it comes with like all the different attachments and the greenery and the, the stuff to make your bow and everything. And that's on the website for sure. But message me and I'll see what I can come up with. That's a fabulous idea. Okay, so we, um, we were watching Shipping Wars and she was like, oh, how cool would that be? And so we looked it up. We looked up, you know, Cincinnati's two and a half hours away from where we are and <laughs> So we're going to surprise the kids and go to Jungle Gems. And my son, it's 
and have to be quiet about it. But it's for him, too, because he didn't get to really celebrate his birthday and do something, you know, big and fun. So we're going to go overnight. But I say all that to say I messaged a business owner yesterday that I was helping. And um, this because this morning I got on and I booked a hotel room for the night. And being able to do that and spend the money to take my kids on this little day trip, like that's what my business does for me. It provides that extra income so like we can do family things. And um, and I just, it was funny, I, every time you purchase from a small business, whether it's my small business or somebody else's, like I just want you to know like that's what you do. Um, it's different than when you purchase from Amazon or Walmart or somewhere else. And so I just want to say that, like, whether it's my business you purchase from or another small business, thank you. Thank you so much. You have no idea the impact. And we don't say it enough as business owners. We don't we don't get on and publicly say it. But like they they've shown in the past, you know, that a business owner dances a little jig every time a sale happens. It's true. It's true. Know that when you click that button to submit an order and it comes through on our end, I dance a jig, my kids dance a jig, and it keeps me going. So um, I say all that to say thank you for supporting small businesses, whether it's mine or not. It doesn't matter whose it is. Um, with COVID and all the craziness that's happened this year, like it's more important than ever to support small businesses. So anyway, that's my heartfelt thank you to all of you. All right. Trying to, I should have brought my, actually, I think I have it over here. I should have brought my tape so I could tape these down. All right, so there's my pieces. The only one I have left is this one. I'm gonna paint another coat of white. I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to do. We're gonna attempt it. I'm going to try to do stars and stripes, or not stars, it'll be dots for stars, and then um, stripes on this, and then we will like wrap all this up, put it together. I guess I could go ahead while I wait on that to dry, move this up here, and we could glue down our border. So I've got super glue, but I actually, let's see. A new one. I can't remember. I had one that ran out last week. Good. Flip this over. I'm going to try not to get it in the paint. Oh, yeah, I've got glue. All right, you have to go kind of fast with super glue because it starts soaking into the wood. All right. Set it down where you want it. If you have clips, you can clip it. If not, you can just hold it. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna glue this little piece on. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and glue my barn door down too. And because I want the, actually I don't know that I want the wreath to stay permanently, so I don't think I'm gonna glue my wreath down. Friends, I'm not going to glue my barn door down because I'm going to have to set this one back on the machine and have this, this part recut. So I can't do that part. I apologize for that. But you can see right now how it looks stained on the outside, and that's just paint. That was just acrylic paint and water. Okay, accents on these pieces after I get this with another quick coat of white. Uh, this morning I listened, um, if y'all tuned in yesterday, I think I told you I listened to Sadie Robertson Huff. Um, she did a, a spot on the If Gathering. She did a breakout this past weekend, and I was watching it yesterday. I upgraded my ticket so I could watch all the breakouts uh, because it was they were just so good. It was one of those that, um, like, I knew I was going to, all those messages were going to be for a moment that I was going to need. Um, I just read through them and I thought, gosh, like these are just, they're phenomenal. 
So anyway, I, this morning I was watching one from Dr. Anita Phillips and she is a Christian therapist and she was talking about anxiety and she was talking about specifically how anxiety affects our prayer life and how it changes the posture of your prayer life. And I've been like chewing on that all morning. And when, when you sit back and you think about it, if you come like, you know, spiritual on y'all. Sorry, I, did, I didn't plan this. This was a God thing. He, he's given me this word right now that somebody needs. Um, but if you, if you go to him with this sense of this posture of you're already anxious, you already know that you know what the reason you're coming you know that you're coming because you are sad about whatever it is. You're disappointed. You're upset. You're you're wanting for something. Um, you already have that posture of anxiety. And it changes the reason. I don't want to say this wrong. It changes the, the intent for when you when you go to the Lord in prayer. Um, he already knows, like she said this morning, you know, we can always, I'm dry brushing just so if anybody is watching and they're like, what are you doing? Um, I'm hitting the tips more and then I'm kind of dry brushing in the middle. And if I get too much dry brush, I'll go back and I'll add some, um, some green back. Anyway, she was talking about, you know, the Bible says that we, um, we can go to him and ask, but it also says that he already knows. He already knows like what we're going to say, what we need, what we want. Um, but he also knows what's best for us. And he knows like his will. And so it was crazy because this morning when I was listening, she said, you know, um, in I don't remember which book we were in, but it was the story of Elijah when um, Elijah and Baal. And they were talking about how when Elijah rebuilt the altar, and then prayed to God, he didn't ask for fire, even though that was what Baal, or that was what the um, the group was saying, like, if your God is truly God, he'll send down fire. Never once did Elijah ask for fire. He didn't ask for fire. All he did was he rebuilt the altar, showing that he was putting his faith in God, and in turn, he went to God and he praised him for who he was. And she was talking about how when we are in a um, season of anxiety and we come in that manner, we're pouring our heart out and we're, we're telling God what he already knows. When if we'll change our approach to, um, we'll change our approach to be Lord, this is who you are. And I just want what's, what you have in store for me. I want your will for my life. Your posture changes and your whole prayer life changes. Um, and anyway, it was just, it was a really neat, like something to chew on today because I feel like so many of us women are like totally wrapped up with anxiety. Like if we had to say it, that's one thing that a lot of us just deal with, unfortunately. And so I just thought, you know what, it, it was amazing to listen to another, you know, perspective about, you don't, yes, you can always go to God and tell him what you need and ask for, you know, what, but he knows your heart. He already knows. He already knows. You don't ever have to say it. Uh, okay, I'm going to make this circle just a little bit bigger on this flower. Because I want to do some fun, like, polka dots in there. I don't know if that was a word for someone, but um, I hope that it was. Maybe it was just a word for me today. But I hadn't really thought about how your anxiety affects your prayer life. And how when you get like that, like, that's not, that's not at all what like, God has for us. It's not what he desires for us. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, this is where I'm at. All right, so I've got, y'all can see, I just kind of dry brushed. I went out like this, and then I, I hit the tips of this. All right, so that is where I'm at. Gosh, I'm loving this. Okay, 
So now I have all these little pieces and I'm going to do some accents on them. But what I'm going to do, I don't want to over accent. You are very welcome, Wendy. I don't want to over accent because I want the pieces to kind of show off them. I mean, show for themselves. But I think I'm going to grab my white Posca pen, my gray Posca pen, and my black. Um, my black. There it is. I grab my Poscas. If you don't know what these are, you can go to my Amazon affiliate store on my website where I can send you the link. And these are like the Cadillac of paint pens. They are phenomenal. Um, and they last forever unless you use them on wet paint and then you mess up the tips. But I think I'll start with the white and I'm just going to do just going to do some accents on here. And if I mess it up, friends, if you mess up while you're accenting, that's one of the things that uh, I feel like people sh like struggle the most with is they worry too much about their accents, which I just messed that one up. So all you do if you mess it up is you get more paint and you paint over it. That's it. Let it dry. I think I need a thin marker. I think this one's too thick. I think these all might be too thick. So I may have to switch. Um, so let me just paint this little turkey again. But yeah, if you over accent or you mess it up, just paint over it. So I think these are going to be too thick and I don't have my thin ones over here. So what I'm going to do is instead I will accent with my paintbrush. I think we'll do, I love the way Amy had um, done her set. They were all very rustic and vintage and they, they just had that. Uh, faded look. It turned out so pretty. So maybe we'll just do that. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get this circle in the middle. I'm trying to get that just bright white. So I'm just putting a few coats on that. Okay, let's work on this since I know I have a pen that is thin enough for this. Just need to find one that works. These are my old paint markers that I just happen to have over here. And so I've just kind of been using them because they, they go bad. Just been using them up. Let me blow dry this real fast. Hi, Lisa. How are you, love? Make sure you sprinkle with your friends. We're painting this adorable barn door project, and um, I showed y'all a bunch of other stuff that we have going on, and um, I'd love it if you'd sprinkle it with your friends. Let them know what we're up to and what they can get in on. All right, so I'm just going to use this um, red marker and make my lines. They're not going to be perfectly straight because, well, I'm not a computer. I'm a human being. Oh, 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 Not too much paint. All right, I might have to thicken my lines so they match. There we go. Oh, this is turning out cute. Can y'all see that? It's turning out super cute. You didn't sprinkled? What does that mean? <laughs> um, that's so funny. It feels like way past Wednesday. Anybody else? This week's already been really long. Is it Wednesday? Is it Tuesday? What is today? No, it's only Tuesday, isn't it? Gosh, man, it's it's only Tuesday. I can't believe that. It definitely feels past Tuesday. Oh, this is going to be so cute. Now, if you're looking at this and you're like, okay, Kara, but how are you going to do those little bitty dots over here? Guys, that's the easy part. I'll show you all that in just a second. So 
doing all that in just a second. Okay, so there is our little star flag. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Makes my day. So there's that. And then I'm going to grab one of these paintbrushes that I have in the water over here because it has an amazingly small tip or end. And I'm going to get some fresh white paint. Uh, you always want to do this with fresh. You don't want to do this with paint that's been sitting there for a little while. Okay, got way too much. I didn't need that much, but at least we got enough. All right, we're going to take the tip of our paintbrush. We're going to dab, and then we're going to just dot right there on our star. Can you all see that? So that's how we're going to get those. those. Um, they're not going to be stars, obviously. They're gonna, just going to be dots. But I wanted to add just a little bit of um to this. Now when I do this, I'm going to make sure that all of my dots make a triangular pattern. And let me show y'all what I mean by that in just a second. Anytime you're doing polka dots on any anything, if you want them to look evenly spaced out, use the polka dot method or the um, triangle method. Sorry. I'll show y'all in just a second what I mean by that on my paper, not on here. Okay, so there is our little star. I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm actually going to um, do the, like, the whitewash on it, too. Let me go ahead and add some more white paint to this middle, and then I'll show you all that star, or that polka dot technique. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. All right, I'm gonna paint right here. Let's see what this other side looks like. I'll just do it here with a bright color. We'll just do it with black. Let's see. Let me get my black so y'all make sure y'all can see that. Now I'll have to dry this afterwards because I don't want to put my hand in it. But I'm just gonna get a little bit of black paint. I'm actually gonna water mine down a little bit just because it'll make it easier and quicker. I said I was going to water it down, and then I dried my brush. All right, so I'm dipping in here. Um, I'm making a polka dot. This is my favorite way to make polka dots. Okay, so I've got, I've got my dot. So Y'all can see that. Now, I'm going to make another dot. The second dot placement doesn't matter as much as the third. Okay, so this is where it gets tricky. So now I need to place another dot. But in order to do that, I don't want it down here. I don't want it, I want it to be a triangle. So I want these three to form a triangle. And that's gonna make my pattern for the whole rest of my canvas or whatever it is you're painting. So now when I go to make my next one, I'm gonna make a polka dot or a triangle with these two. So one, two, this would be my placement for the next one. And as long as every time you go to make a new polka dot, you make a triangle from two of them, you'll keep your evenly spacing the whole way. And then you won't be left at the end going, oh, I'm putting a little polka dot here because it needs a little bit. Your whole board or canvas, your polka dots will be evenly spaced out. Does that help somebody? So I would just keep going and then and when I do mine, especially my door hangers, I always make my polka dots go off of the board so that there's like half polka dots and three quarter polka dots, just so it looks like the it just kind of keeps going. I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna blow dry that super fast so I don't put my hand in black paint. Blow 
different. Okay. So I'm going to let that keep drying. It's not all the way dry yet. But we will start working on making all of these super cute. I'm going to use the same polka dot technique. Um, since I don't have my paint pen, we're going to do the inside of these. Hey, what's brown? I'm going to do black. Let me get a little bit more black paint. And we're going to do some black dots in the middle of this flower. Just like little seeds or... A little bit of wet paint. And these you can use the same spacing out, like space it out the same way you would space out your polka dots to make sure you always have good spacing. Okay, so I've got my little dots in there. Some of them turned out bigger than others, but that's okay. So let me show y'all what that would look like on our little barn door. Look how cute. That's so cute. All right, so let's do some um, dry brushing on these. I'm going to dip in here, get most of my paint off, and then I'm just going to kind of get these edges. Still too much paint. Just going to kind of hit these edges, get some of that off the sides, so that there's just a little bit along the sides. You get too much, just wipe it off. You just want it to look a little bit rustic. Still have too much paint. There's a lot of paint in that brush. Getting my hands all dirty today. Kind of feels good. It's kind of like I don't want to say it's like gardening because obviously it's not, but. There's just something about getting crafty and getting getting a little bit dirty. A little bit more pink. Mix it in here. Make this a little bit lighter right in the middle. A little bit darker. All right, so there is our cute little flower. You see that? Super cute on there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with some of these. Oh, I just put pink on my brush. Let me get a new brush that doesn't have pink on it, so I quit doing that. All right. Now, this brush works well. This is um, just a really small flat brush, and I'm just kinda going around these edges like this. You see that? Is pulling it toward me. Some more paint, most of it off. Again, if you over accent, what am I going to tell you to do? You're just going to put some more paint on there. So I'm going to put a little bit here. Get that green again. I'm just kind of touching them up as I go, making them look like I want them to look. Okay, so there, see our little shamrock? Oh, here. And then we're going to do our bow next. Wash this brush out because that has green on it. Dry brush. Most of the paint off. And then go towards you. Bring your brush towards you so that you get that unfinished edge. Just keep spinning it around. And then I'm going to do just a, a tiny bit of dry brushing to show the, the center of the bow. It's kind of hard to see there. Just a tiny bit. I'm going to show you what that looks like on our piece. And you can do that. 
you can make it more prominent if you wanted to. Um, just darken it up a little bit. And just remember, if you go too much, just cover it up with paint. Okay, I'll do this one next. I actually think I want to do light pink as an accent for this. So I'm going to mix a super light pink and dry brush the edge. Yep, I like that. Okay, so I've got my little heart, dry brushed my heart. I'll show you what that looks like. Flip that if you wanted. And you don't have to leave the bow on. You can take the bow off. You could put the heart in the middle. You could put it at the top, wherever you want it. Now for my orange, I need a little bit more orange and a little bit more brown. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken this up a little bit. Ah, brown's almost out. I think I have enough right here that I can get. All right. Okay, I'm going to make this a tiny bit brighter. And I'm making it, um, going in the brush strokes that would be the way the pumpkin would um, have the segments. If that makes sense. So that... If I see my brush strokes after, they're actually going to show the little pumpkin segments. So now I've got some white on there. I'm going to come back in. Make this part in the middle brighter. And then work my way out. Just kind of blending it. So that we have some bright and some dark. So now our, our pumpkin has just a little bit of texture. Can you see that? Let me show you what that looks like on here. Oh, I think that might be my favorite so far. Let me show y'all. Can y'all see that? That's so cute. Okay, turkey. I think we're just going to dry brush him white. Let's just dry brush. My turkey. Pull it towards you, a little bit of paint on the edges. Okay, so there's our little turkey. Just do a little bit of accent on him. I'm gonna dry brush my um, bunny. Same thing, too much paint. Just make him look a little bit vintage, rough. This is a project that I actually, um, it's funny, I purchased this file from uh, her shop a couple weeks, well, a few weeks ago. And I kept thinking, like, one Friday afternoon, I try to take Friday afternoons and do something just creative that's not business related. Um, and so I kept thinking, like, oh, I'm just going to paint it one day. And I just hadn't found the time. And so today I thought, you know what? Today's the day. All right. There is our little bunny. You could do, oh, let's do that. Let's make his little tail pink. I'm going to make his tail pink. You get some white and some pink. Let's give him a little cotton tail. Now, I'm just going to dab it on so that it looks kind of rough. If y'all can see that, not a perfect circle. Oh, it's cute. Now he has a little cotton tail. How cute he is. You could put a little bit of pink in his ears if you wanted to. Okay, so we've got our turkey. We have our heart. We have our four leaf clover. Our bow, our pumpkin, just kind of setting all these around here so y'all can see them. We have our flower, and now let's work on our, oh, I got some paint on there. Let's work on our star, not our star, what is this? Snowflake. 
white paint, get most of it off, bring it towards you as you dry brush. Now I'm going to hit the middle a little bit just because there's a lot of just um, blue. So just make it a little bit frosty. And there's, here, let me show y'all what that's going to look like. Oh, that's pretty. Let me show y'all. Let me pick this up so you can see up close how pretty that is. All right, friends. I think my star is just about dry. So I'm going to make it a little bit vintage by just dry brushing. And I'm kind of bringing it further in so that that red's not so prominent. And then I'm going to kind of brush across there. Let me show y'all how fun that looks. Can y'all see that? Oh, can y'all see that? It's kind of hard to see. But I just made it, um, just kind of toned the colors down a little bit so it matches with the whole rustic look we were going for. Put that there. So now, look at our star. Isn't it so pretty? So friends, this kit is on sale this week. And you get all the pieces to make this. Um, you'll get your glue and your Velcro. And let me show you just kind of how the Velcro will work. I know y'all all know how Velcro works. But what you're going to get, you're, you might get it and be like, well, that's weird. You'll get one short piece of, um, like, you'll get a long piece and a short piece. And what you're going to do, let me see. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11. Let's do it like this big. All right. So when you get it, you're only going to get, you're going to get one piece that's long and then one piece that's shorter. Okay. Now I'm going to leave this a little bit longer where you can cut it in half. And this is actually your, your short piece is going to be two because if you wanted to find a letter or something, and if you want a letter add-on, message me and I can just sell you a letter add-on and send it with your kit. Because what you could do is you could put your Velcro on your barn door and then you could do a letter add-on. So just anytime you can have the letter or you could put this so you can put your, um, your wreath on there. So then you would have Velcro on your wreath or you could pop it off and put your letter back. Or you can put your wreath down. Let me move all this wet paint so I can show y'all up close. Okay, move all that. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your long piece, and it's going to feel different than your short piece. This is my long piece. You're going to cut little pieces off. Just got little pieces, and what you'll do is, depending on where you're going to want your little attachments to hang, you'll put it, like, I'm going to put mine kind of at the top of my attachment, and then I'm going to put this other fuzzy piece, which I need to make a little bit smaller. You don't have to use very much of this. I'm going to make this other piece that sticks to this one. I'm going to put it on the actual wreath. Man, my hands are filthy today. Miss Elaine asked me the other day, do I ever wear gloves? And it would be a good idea, but I don't. Okay, so set that right there. And then I'm going to put my Velcro right there. Okay, so this little piece will stay. This will always be up there. And you'll swap out this piece. So all of your pieces, you need to get it right. You might have to, you might have to work with the, um, the placement. I don't think I placed that exactly right. I think I want it in the middle. Get in the middle. Okay, there you go. So then you'll just swap out this little piece anytime you want to change out your wreath. And then if you want to change your whole wreath out, you would pop the wreath off and you would put your letter or whatever right here. So if y'all want a letter, I think that would be a super cute addition. I could do a, a fun barn door letter for you. All right, so we would just put Velcro on the back of all of these. Have to make sure it's Part of the um the long piece because that'll be the piece that will go on the attachments 
can put it in the middle. Turn this one over. So I'm just going to go around and put it on all of these. Um, I think I want to wait on the bow. Let me see. Where's that? There it goes. I love Velcro. I love the interchangeable kits. Like They make me so happy. I have this wall going into my kitchen where I have this cute little sign and that's where I like to hang up my interchangeables because then I can just kind of swap them out as I see fit. Oh, I just did the wrong piece. I need to peel that off. Um, I need this rough piece. Okay, so see how cute that is? And then we can do the same thing. I'm going to get this piece. I'm going to actually make it smaller, though, because I don't want it to show through. I think if we do a letter, it might need to be on a circle so that your Velcro will be covered up. Does that make sense? So I think I'll do like a circle with the letter on the inside. Okay, so there's that. And then let me flip this over and put a piece on here. All right, so now we have this little piece that gets Velcroed on. And then we have this little piece that can be Velcroed on. So all these little pieces, you'll put that on the back and you'll just switch them all out um, based on the seasons. They're so cute. So thank you all so much for joining me today. Uh, I don't know about you, but I needed some paint therapy today. And I hope that you will find something creative to do. Make time for yourself. And if you are like me and you um, pin all the things, and then you forget to take time for yourself, join our DIY kit and get a whole kit mailed to you every single month where you can make an adorable DIY project. So I want to show you all one more time before I go what we did last month. This last month we did this adorable watering can and it also came with the all the materials to do this banner. It had Mod Podge and scrapbook paper and all kinds of fun stuff. It's $39 for local pickup, $49 if it's shipped. The month before, we did a reversible home decor tag. And it has, this is the front side. And then on the other side, it has Valentine's Day so that you could, um, you could display it for longer than just one holiday. So I hope that you'll join us. We do have um, about a dozen spots left. We only open about 20 spots a month just because um, it's only me and then a couple other girls that put all these together. And so we're kind of growing slow because we have to kind of get ahead of each month. But um, I hope that you'll join us and take time for yourself to be creative. Make sure you sprinkle with your friends. If you'd like to know every single time I go live from your mobile phone, go to textcara.com. Shoot me a message, say hello, and I will add you to the list and you will get a notification every time I go live. So, hope you all have a blessed day, and um, I hope that you can be a blessing for someone else too today. Love y'all. Bye, friends.